Hey everyone. Sorry about that. Itchy nose. What does that mean? Somebody's thinking of me or something. I don't know. Um, today, I see an acknowledgement. You're being acknowledged for something today. And, well, it's impossible to see what it is for everyone. It could be anything. But it's about acknowledgement today. And it could even be self-acknowledgement. But I feel for a great, for quite a few of you, there's going to be acknowledgement from others. Others acknowledge something within you, something about you, something you've done. And it is all very positive. But also, for the other part of you, it could be something that you acknowledge within yourself. Which is a good thing, too. We all need to. We all need to acknowledge all the things about us that come into play. All the different aspects, the good and the bad. If we have our minds and our eyes closed to what's going on with us, there is no healing. There is no growth. So even the bad things that come into play... We need to acknowledge them, understand them, know why they're there, so then we can release them and let them go and move forward and grow from it. But today I feel it's a very positive acknowledgement for whatever reason. Whatever it is that you have done or accomplished or what goal you have made it to, there is a big acknowledgement coming for you today. Hmm, that's very good, very positive. I like that. Let's see, is there anything else? And there's something about the bees buzzing around. I see busy as a bee. That message is for a particular someone or a few particular someone. Someone used to say something about the bees all the time. They always had something to say. Some little phrase or little thing thing, tagline, or slogan, or whatever about the bees. That person wants you to know that they are with you. That they haven't gone very far at all. That they are still with you. So, today I feel like there are going to be quite a lot of messages coming from your loved ones who have passed who are on the other side. Something about the daisy. Stop and smell the daisies. Instead of stop and smell the roses, someone used to say, stop and smell the daisies. All right. That's for somebody out there. Let's see what else. What else do they have to say? Oh, instantly there is the butterfly. The butterfly that comes into play. And it's... I'm seeing... A big black butterfly with other colors on it this big black butterfly with all the other colors on it is coming for a message for you that is a sign that is a symbol of a loved one that has passed maybe a grandmother figure quite often grandmothers are associated with the butterfly but also sometimes the grandfather but mostly grandmothers this particular black butterfly wants you to know that you are not alone they are still with you The messages I get, oh my goodness, Here, I just have to say it, okay? I'm sorry for anyone that gets offended, but this elder says something about shoveling shit. <laughs> so whoever that is for, that grandparent of yours was a hoot. They were always saying things that just seemed like they came out of blue. They were always uh, up front with their feelings. And they did not mix their words. Shoveling shit. Always shoveling shit. That's what they <laughs> keep saying to me. That one's funny. That one is funny. That person, wow. They, they are something. Oh, love it. Love it. Um, let's keep doing this because there are a lot of people standing in line here to give me a little message. So, I'm going to try to get through them. And it may sound random to you, but when that one comes in with a message for you, you will know it. <laughs> I'm still on the one shoveling shit. Oh my goodness. That is hilarious. Ooh, 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Move on. Go on, let's... Who's next? They're still shoveling shit. They're shoveling as they're walking out of the picture. That person is hilarious. I love that person. I want that person to be in my family. Oh my goodness. Hilarious. <laughs> this next person says something about climbing a pole. Climbing a pole. And, um... They have, if they have to climb a telephone pole, they will to get the message to you. So, I guess I'm the telephone pole delivering the message for whoever that's for. Uh, they nod and thank me and they're on their way. Now here comes a lady carrying a baby and she wants you to know that she has the baby. Not to worry, they are safe, they are loved, they're happy. But she shows me that she is cradling the baby and she wants you to know that she has the baby. She has the baby. Not to worry. Let's move on from that one. I'm sorry for your loss. Just know that baby is well taken care of. Oh, goodness. Something about blue skies and the sky being red. Someone had a saying about the blue skies and the sky when it turns red. So whoever that is for you know the exact phrase you can share it with us all if you like that would be great and the meaning behind it um but that person that's all they're showing me is the blue skies and when the sky turns red they had something very significant to talk about that and they want to let you know that they're with you oh gosh the next person says something about rolling the dice it's always a risk it's always like oh oh about to drop my phone sorry Rolling the dice. It's like life is like rolling the dice. It's a crapshoot. <laughs> You're never really going to know what you get till you get it. Till the dice stop rolling, right? They're with you. They're watching everything. They're right there at your side. They're holding your hand. They've got their arm looped in your arm, walking this journey with you, watching every move there to protect you and to guide you. So know that they are with you. Um, the next one is someone, and they're dipping snuff. Call it snuff. Hmm. That's what they were known for. They were always dipping the snuff. They had that snuff with them all the time. And ugh. But those people who know have had a loved one that passed on that that loved one, it was all about their snuff. Uh, yes. <laughs> they love it. You didn't. But they're with you anyway. And yeah, they still got their snuff. <laughs> Uh, the birds and the wind chimes this next person loved birds and wind chimes so much their whole life they had wind chimes everywhere and they were always talking about feeding the birds they had to feed the birds all the time they loved their birds so much and the wind chimes they just had them everywhere I can hear them clanking and, and chiming all over the place lots of wind chimes and I can see them just sitting out, watching the birds, and just being happy with themselves doing this. Uh, she wants you to know that she's with you. She was, she's with you and she loves you. More importantly, she loves you more than anything. Always has and always will. And here's uh, the next person has a handkerchief. <laughs> They always have a handkerchief on them. Oh, goodness, my nose is itching. Um, they always have a handkerchief on them, and um, it always made you smile. You always remember that person, especially when you see a handkerchief, if and when you ever see that anymore. 
you think of this person. Every time you see a handkerchief now, know that that is them giving you a little wink, a little nod to say, yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here. I haven't left you. Um, yeah, they're still online, so I'm going to try to do these, a few more of these. <clears throat> oh, goodness. My hand is falling asleep. It's going numb. Okay, this is a bit weird. Something about the dog bow, and the dog bow is always out of place. The dog bow seems to be moving around all on its own. And you've watched the dog, and the dog's not necessarily doing it. But every time you come in, the dog bow isn't where it's supposed to be. Your loved ones are playing tricks on you. Your loved one is having fun with the dog in the dog bowl. Just know that that is someone that who has passed and loves a good joke, loves a belly laugh, loves to mess with other people. They said they were going to come back and they were going to haunt you. They meant it. <laughs> So the dog bow is all oh, that person that said those things before they left. That's who it is. I, to see them nudging that dog bow all over the place. And it's just like, how did it get there? How did the dog bow get over there? Anyway. Hmm, people are funny. Um, uh, I see a clothesline with the clothes hung out on the line. You buy them a brand new washer and dryer, yet they still put the clothes on the clothesline. That person sends you so much love, and they're still hanging their clothes on the clothesline. They don't care how fancy that washer and dryer is. They like nature. They want the wind to blow through it. They just think it smells better, it feels better. It's better for it to air dry like that. They're adamant about that. Um, something about when everything turns topsy-turvy. They used to say topsy-turvy all the time. Topsy-turvy, topsy-turvy. I'm just hearing that over and over again. Topsy-turvy. That person wants to send you a tremendous amount of love, hugs, and tell you that you are doing great. They are proud of you. They love you who you have become and are so so proud they may have not told you enough when they were living but they want you to know now that they are proud of you that you are loved something about I can't get the words right in my head it feels backwards something about when it rains, when it, when the sun is out, when the sun shine and rain. They had a phrase or something they said all the time about sunshine and rain. But it sounds backwards to me, like they're saying it backwards. Whoever that is, you know it's making sense to you. It's not making sense to me, but they want to let you know that you are loved. They're here and they see you and they're with you every step of the way. One more, one more, one more. Okay. That one there in the back. I see you. Hmm. This is a male figure. <laughs> he calls himself Grandpa Jones. Whether his name was really Jeff Grandpa Jones or not, something about. He always says something about Grandpa Jones, Grandpa Jones. He's a. He wears a hat. And like I said, he was standing at the back of the line, but yet he has a lot of energy. He has a big personality. There's no way I could miss him. No matter how far back in that line he went, I could not miss him. I, his energy was projecting through everyone else. For like they, everyone else just kind of parted because his energy was so strong. Had a big personality, but yet he was very subdued. Grandpa Jones has come out to say hello and he loves you and misses you so that'll be my final message of today have a great day everyone get outside touch the earth cleanse your space do your meditations and remember that this wire
the wolf, the raven, and spirit, and all of your loved ones are sending you unconditional love.